This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Nissan's Innovation Garage. So up this week we have rumors of the new iPad mini. Apple rumors never seem to stop. We have rumors of not one but two HTC phone tablet hybrids and Microsoft might be making original content for the Xbox 360. This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with Apple rumors. The iPhone 5 is upon us, but that's not enough to satiate the Apple rumor mill from churning. iPad mini could be here, could be coming very soon. The site bolopad.com published some images that they claimed were shells of the upcoming iPad mini. It had all the specs we expect, but instead of a 30 pin dock connector on the bottom, it's got a new lightning connector on the bottom. I'm gonna always confuse lightning and thunderbolt. If they ever get like a rain connector or like a light mist or a hail. Do we think it's real? Probably not. But just because that might not be the real case doesn't mean what they're saying might not be accurate. Uh, rumors of the iPad mini are still starting to heat up yet again as we look to a possible October announcement. It's everything we loved about the iPad but in a smaller 7.85 inch package. It's supposed to compete head to head of course against the Kindle Fire 2 and the Nexus 7. But it does lend a question, what's the pricing gonna be, especially with the prices now of the iPod Touch going up to 300-ish dollars, where is that iPad mini going to fit in? A $400 iPad mini, you pick up a regular iPad. Even a $300 iPad mini, it may be a hard proposition. Perhaps Apple might really throw everybody off and go relatively budget on it, not include a retina display, not include the latest A6 processor, maybe go for older generation A5. So we just heard carrier announcements for the Galaxy Note 2, that 5.5 inch phone tablet hybrid phablet, it doesn't look like other companies want to be left out in the dust not having a gigantic freak phone and it looks like HTC is not cooking up one but two potential options. So the first one is the HTC X5. If the 5 doesn't give it away, it's got a 5 inch screen on that bad boy. It's packing a Snapdragon S4 quad core chip and it's rumored to be having AT&T LTE radios on board so perhaps it'll make its way to Ma Bell. Also rumors though that it might be coming to T-Mobile. So if you're Sprint to Verizon, you're going to be left out but especially left out if you're Sprint because the next phone looks to be a Verizon exclusive. The next phone is the Droid Incredible X. It's gonna be packing a 1080p screen with a pixel resolution of 480 PPI. It's gonna be powered by a quad core Snapdragon S4 processor, a gig and a half of RAM, and 16 gigs of internal storage. Presumably they'll be able to up that. HTC had a press conference last Wednesday when they announced a couple of Windows phones. Uh, we thought we actually might see some of these phablets get announced, but perhaps HTC saving them for another announcement. I love the Galaxy Note 2. It's gonna be really hard to get me to look elsewhere, but I also really love HTC's build quality. I think it's absolutely outstanding and rivals really only Apple. So I want to take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Nissan and Nissan's Innovation Garage. Some of the world's best ideas happen in garages. Music, computers, electric cars, the list goes on. Well, Nissan's created their own virtual garage to help you bring your ideas to life. It's called the Nissan's Innovation Garage and submitting your ideas is super easy. Just go to NissanInnovationGarage.com. Your ideas have to be limited to cars, only limited by your imagination. So I'm a big sports nut. I always want to see what the scores are by the time I get into my house, turn the TV, I might have missed the last shot, the last field goal, the last slap shot, last kick, whatever other sports sounds you can think of. I want my garage when I walk in, I want it to tell me what the scores of my teams are. You can set it for updates. I want to tell you what my fantasy team has been doing. I just want sports integrated into my garage. So perhaps I'm sitting there pitching up a phone call. I can still see what's going on. You know, angels beat the Rangers, if only that would happen. If you've got an awesome idea, now is a good time to submit it. Nissan's panel of engineers will choose two grand prize winners to get a $50,000 grant to fund their big idea, as well as a 2013 Nissan Altima. So you get 50,000 clams and a free car. So the deadline for submissions is October 12th, 2012. So get it on right now. Check out all the details at NissanInnovationGarage.com. So let's go from phones to video games. Microsoft has really been positioning the Xbox 360 as a media hub, not just for games, but to get all of your content right on your television. Looks like they're taking that one step further by creating original content for the Xbox 360, not video games. We're talking TV, movies, videos type stuff. According to the New York Times, Microsoft has hired CBS exec Nancy Tellum to head the mystery project. So it would be kind of interesting. We've seen Netflix make their own original content. We've seen Hulu make their own original content. 
content, but I haven't seen a manufacturer make their own original content. Perhaps you're trying to keep up with Sony. You know, Sony certainly has Sony Pictures, Sony TV, Columbia. So Sony's got a lot of original content they can put out just on the PlayStation if they choose to. Microsoft doesn't have that wing of their company that creates media. So it does make sense for them to perhaps branch out, but maybe they'll be branching out to perhaps purchase uh, parts of networks or perhaps rights to shows that already exist, or maybe they're going to create something brand new. And it would be kind of fun to see some new original content uh, on the Xbox 360. Any way to get new shows that don't suck, I'm all in favor of. Uh, what do you guys think is enough to hold you off and get an Xbox 360 or enjoy your Xbox 360 for another year or so until presumably we see the next Xbox, the 720? I want to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. Be sure to check us out on technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm your host, John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Make sure that she's alive. Lucy! Hey! Yeah. I had to show people that you weren't, you were still breathing. You look so tired.